friendships are an important aspect of life to animals just as much as it is to humans. Having someone to watch your back and keep you company is essential. Go lie, go lie, go lie, go lie. <laughs> Especially if you're out roaming the dangerous wilderness of the big bad world. But which animals are the friendliest? From monkeys to sheep, here are the 15 friendliest land animals in the world. Number 15. Monkeys. To us humans, social relationships between friends are an incredibly important part of life. For monkeys, it is no different, and so they like to keep up a friendly front. While we might argue with close friends or family, there's usually a desire to patch things over after the dust settles. Whether that be offering the other person a drink or simply apologizing. Monkeys also get into arguments, and they can be just as ordinary or mundane as humans arguing over what channel to put on the TV. Whilst monkeys don't watch TV in the wild, they sometimes do get into scuffles over who gets to lie in the shaded area or whose turn it is to be groomed. But how do they manage this and be the friendly creatures they are? They have various ways to resolve a situation, such as meditation and the bizarre act of kissing their friend on the mouth. Kiss. <laughs> Kiss. They can even resort to grooming one another in a bid to relax the environment and settle tensions. Sort of like giving someone a back rub, I guess. If these friendships aren't maintained, then, like humans, monkeys will just get stressed out and be left with elevated levels of anxiety. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Sheep. You've probably heard the phrase, don't be a sheep, before, and that's a testament to their group mentality. See, sheep are gregarious, which means they band together and rarely leave each other's side. Whilst you could interpret it as them all being the best of friends, it's actually mainly for protection. The thought is, if they stay together, it's harder for them to be picked off by a predator. But how can a sheep be friendly if they run at the sight of a perceived threat, aka a human or its dog? Well, over time, the flight distance, which is the closeness a sheep will allow you to come before running away, decreases as they begin to view you as more of a friend than a foe. There are countless cases of people opting to go for a pet sheep rather than a hamster, for example, and being left with a pet that behaves just like a dog after its flight distance has been eventually eradicated. Shepherds take advantage of this herd mentality, however. Through scaring the sheep with a controlled dog, the shepherd can control the herd of sheep. The more scared the sheep, the more they stick together. The more they stick together, the easier to control. Number 13. Dogs. Man's best friend. Of course, we weren't gonna have a list of the friendliest animals without the dog making an appearance. Dogs and humans have been the best of pals for between 10,000 and 30,000 years. The relationship is well known. But what makes a dog so friendly? Well, for starters, the relationship is symbiotic. The dog lessens the owner's worries, whereas the owner makes the dog feel safer. Everyone is happy. The relationship goes one step further, with the owner actually being revealed in scientific studies to influence multiple characteristics of their pet's traits. In areas such as calmness, trainability, sociability, and boldness. Apart from wagging their tail and being general bundles of joy, a dog and a human also bond through simply gazing into each other's eyes. So much so that a study at Azabu University in Sagamihara, Japan, found that this staring causes the creation of the love hormone oxytocin. Humans and dogs, the perfect friendship between two social creatures that has lasted through the ages. With the friendship stemming all the way back to people migrating in East Asia to now going for walkies in the park as the canine friend sprints after a thrown ball. Number 12. Cats. 
Well, you probably expected dogs to be on this list. I'm sure you didn't expect to see cats here, too. Well, contrary to popular belief, cats are a lot more friendly than the wider public gives them credit for. A study in 2017 found that most cats preferred interacting with a human rather than playing around with their toy. Which might not seem like much, but I'm sure a lot of people nowadays would rather play on their phones or games console than have a conversation with someone. But the research does doesn't end there, with a 2019 study discovering that cats actually adjust their behavior in accordance with how much attention a person gives them. The more attention, the friendlier the feline. Whilst cats can sometimes get a bad rap for being selfish and self-centered, it's been discovered through scientific research that cats are actually sensitive to human emotions, meaning they aren't as cold as some would think. I think the main difference between a cat and another animal is the fact that a cat isn't afraid to let their opinions be known. If a cat doesn't like you, it will make sure you know it. So while their reputation isn't great, cats are actually very friendly creatures capable of just as much love and affection as your next household pet. They even get separation anxiety when you're not around. It's just they don't sugarcoat their emotions and can come off blunt to some. Number 11. Giant Pandas There are some animals whom everyone finds really easy to love. The panda most certainly falls into this category. The French philosopher Roland Barthes once stated that the adorable is marked by enchanting formlessness. With that being said, there aren't many things more enchantingly formless than a giant panda's distinctively colored face. The cuteness and friendliness of pandas has been well documented, with countless viral videos of the bamboo munchin' bears covering the early days of the internet. The video of a panda adorably sneezing comes to mind. They really are such a unique, friendly animal, with their tumbling and general presence able to entertain and delight any onlooker. With panda cubs learning how to climb from just five months old, one animal's tumble is another human's Aww. These friendly creatures spend most of their time eating, with 10 to 16 hours of the day allocated to the munching of bamboo. To help them with this feast, the panda uses an extended wrist bone which they can use as a thumb to make sure the bamboo doesn't slip from their grasp. Great news for fans of this friendly animal, as the giant panda has been recently moved from endangered to vulnerable, meaning we should be seeing more of these balls of fur in the future. Number 10. Capybara there are some popular people you come across in life, whether at school or work, who just seem to get on with everyone. No matter the group, they like everyone, and everyone likes them. Well, the animal kingdom is known to have these social chameleons, too. In steps the capybara, which, on top of being extremely popular with all shapes and sizes of animal, is also the largest rodent in the world. Growing to around 4 feet in length and weighing up to around 145 pounds, this is one animal you would love to have around at your dinner party. These popular furry creatures have been known to hang out with all walks of life without a care in the world. From kittens and monkeys to crocodiles and deer, the capybara must have a lengthy contacts list on its smartphone and an extremely busy social calendar. You'd think that they aren't in particular need of new friends, as these semi-aquatic mammals amazingly live in groups as large as 100. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of rodents such as rats, etc., but I would own one of these in a heartbeat. These intelligent beings are gentle creatures and simply require a sizable pool along with some grass and company to stay happy. At least you won't have to worry about one getting on with your dog. Number 9. Tigers. Tigers are fierce and dangerous cats of the animal kingdom, 
with them being feared by humans and countless animals for thousands of years. So the last thing you would think to do would be to make one of these wild cats a pet. Well, some frankly crazy people have decided to do just that. Integrating the wild cats into their household as if it was just a regular house cat, the many owners across the internet don't see anything wrong with the peculiar choice. And while it may seem strange, there's actually a long history of humans being in close contact with the lion with many people said to have developed a friendship and a deep admiration towards the sharp-toothed cats. This devotion for the tiger can be particularly seen in Chinese tradition, where the tiger is held in high regard as a symbol of strength. If you're ever in an Asian building and you notice a painting of a tiger by the entrance, then that's usually there to allegedly protect the place from evil spirits. The tiger is found in all corners of Asian artistic expression, although I think I'll stick to owning a regular tabby cat, thank you. They're slightly easier to handle, and I'd imagine cheaper to feed. Number A. Cows the meat eaters among us will probably just associate a cow with being a steak or a burger. But what about a friend? Cows are very intelligent animals who are able to have layered social relationships as complicated as humans. Similar to how a human might play a team sport, cows create bonds through play with other cattle and animals. Amazingly, cows also mourn deaths in the herd and even hold grudges against other cows. It's hilarious to think there might be gossip and drama going on within a field of cows, similar to a soap opera or reality TV show. Cows even develop favorites amongst their herd. I guess you could call them their best friends. These best friends would usually spend their days with each other and stay with each other at night. Research has shown that if a cow hangs out with their best bud, the cow's stress levels are lowered and so are their heart rates. The power of a BFF. It's fascinating that even cattle have similar social needs as humans. Number 7. Horses Horses are very friendly and social animals. This tendency stretches into the animal's habits when in the wild as well as in the stables. Traveling in packs, horses thrive in groups as if they are left by themselves, they can suffer from loneliness just as humans do. A horse's family structure in the wild is usually a close-knit affair with the dominant mare usually leading the group. This mare might not be the strongest of the bunch, but their experience and wisdom is key to the group's survival. If a horse was not to socialize, there would be significant psychological effects on the hooved friend's health. Young horses need socializing as much as anyone, as if they don't have a role model, they will fail to learn key manners and skills to survive and form friendships. If you've ever wondered why a horse likes being patted so much, it's because this act of grooming can satisfy some of the horse's essential need for companionship. If you want to check the happiness of a horse, as well as just offering them a spare carrot, keep track of the horse's snorts. The more a horse snorts, the more it is happy and at peace. These majestic and elegant creatures have been alongside humans forever. As well as being great companions, in the time before the automobile, they were who humans mainly turned to for transport and labor. Number 6. Cheetahs Cheetahs are the fastest land animal on the planet, able to reach speeds of 70 miles per hour in just 3 seconds. But they're actually big old, albeit fast, softies. While the first impression would be that these are some fearsome big cats of the animal kingdom, they're actually pretty small and have been known to be friendly towards humans, with some eccentric folk among us even deciding to keep them as a pet. The cheetah is not the most muscular of the big cats. A good girl. You're a good girl. I'm gonna grow my hair with them also being quite small in comparison to the other intimidatingly clawed wildlife. 
cheetahs are only about the size of a golden retriever, but I wouldn't recommend just running up to one and trying to give it a hug unless you want a bite taken out of you. If they are well fed, they will actually flee from humans in the wild, due to our usually dominating size making them feel nervous. They're usually very relaxed and inquisitive creatures, especially those held on a safari. Number 5. Koalas Everyone loves the small, chilled-out symbol of Australia. I'm talking about the koala, of course. These remarkably little creatures are the epitome of sweet, with their seemingly laid-back approach to life gaining them fans the world over. There's a common misconception that the reason for these furry fellas' relaxed demeanor is down to the intoxicating eucalyptus tree they munch on. But this is simply not true, although the idea that the reason they are slow moving being down to being drunk or hungover is hilarious to say the least. Koalas are very social and friendly creatures, using different means to gain new friends or sexual mates. From literally just bellowing loudly to peeing on a tree, the koala has really tried everything. If you ever spot a koala hanging around the base of a tree, it's not because they're having trouble escalating it. Rather, the koala is actually sniffing. See, when a koala leaves or ascends a tree, the koala dribbles a stream of urine down the base of the tree in order to offer up their personal information such as sex and dominance to those passing by. Think of it as equivalent to a human's Tinder bio. Whilst they love other friendly animals' company, they are not a big fan of humans. Wild koalas are highly sensitive to human handling, which can even create almost deadly levels of stress through the hormone cortisol. Besides, with a crazily high chlamydia rate in wild koalas, it's probably just better to appreciate the sweet animal with your eyes. I got it from the koala, I swear! Number 4. Bears when you think of a bear, your mind probably drifts back to thoughts of a tyrannical beast rampaging and attacking everything in sight. And if you're a fan of movies, then you'll probably have flashbacks to the scene where Leonardo DiCaprio is savagely attacked in The Revenant movie. The truth is a lot less dramatic and a lot more measured. For starters, bears are incredibly intelligent creatures, with their sociability being comparable to apes. This kinship is a great tool for the bear, as they often share food with their friends, and the prospect of having an extra pair of eyes watching your back in the wild is truly invaluable and could be the difference between life or death. Whilst Hollywood may have portrayed an image of a reckless maniac, bears are a lot more calculated in reality. And in truth, bears usually treat humans just as they would a fellow bear. The difference being a small pat on the back for a bear is a backbreaker and a trip to the hospital for a human. Whilst a bear might bite at you in an act of friendliness, it might not seem so friendly when you see its powerful jaw coming towards your soft flesh. I appreciate the intent, but why can't they just wave at us? Number 3. Squirrels You probably mainly see squirrels running across your clothesline and eating from your hanging bird feeder, but their acrobatics are only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to their being. Considered humans' closest emotional connection to the animal world, they manage to bring an element of the wild even to the most urban of environments. These little bushy-tailed fellas are almost as smart as they are playful. Spy Squirrel is a pushover. He's good. Their great awareness of their environment, helped in part by their great eyesight and sense of smell, means they usually sprint up the base of their tree at even the slightest indication of someone or something approaching. It should be said that they are not fans of dogs, to say the very least. With a twitching nose and shiny eyes, these cheeky acrobats are very approachable to humans if you approach them correctly. They'll even eat right out of the palm of your hand if you place a piece of food in it. To be honest, who would turn down free food, though? Number 2. Donkeys In terms of friendly animals, how many of you had donkeys on your list? Not many, I bet. Well, you should, because whilst they aren't the most conventional of choices, they are extremely social animals. 
Donkeys, for example, will only work with a person if it feels safe and secure hanging out with the human. They are very thoughtful beings, with donkeys pondering over instructions and new commands like they're a Greek philosopher mulling over the deepest of moral questions. This pondering comes with the downside of not being able to be rushed or being known to react quickly on their feet. They are very friendly to humans, with them wearing their heart on their sleeve. Like most animals, they love a good pat on the head, or even the simple act of standing nearby someone. Donkeys have also been known to whip up intense friendships with other animals, ranging from dogs to horses. Fellow donkeys are extremely important and cherished by each other, with the death of a companion causing the donkey to go into a state of mourning. This grief can be so intense that the donkey can even become severely ill from the stress. Poor things. Number 1. Camels you would be excused if the first thought that flies through your head isn't, wow, what a beautiful animal, when you lay eyes on a camel. But you might be surprised that these desert dwellers' name actually comes from the Arabic word for beautiful. I would want to get on the good side of a camel, though, as their friendship could prove extremely useful. Able to carry up to 600 pounds and run up to 25 miles an hour, these ships of the desert are certainly well adapted for endurance. They are also very social animals, with camels being known to approach and kiss humans. While the thought of getting kissed by a camel might not sound like the greatest of things, it could be a whole lot worse. Camels have been known to spit at things which they feel threatened by. Although it's actually far worse than spit. Along with a deadly aim, the camel brings up the contents of its stomach and spits it out of their mouth with a hefty splash of saliva for good measure. Despite these bad manners, the companionship between camels and humans has been documented for centuries. With long trips across the thirst-quenching terrains allowing enough time to get to know each other and multiple DMCs to occur. Who would have known having a buddy would be so important to all animals of different shapes and sizes? Who is the friendliest animal in your opinion? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!